I am back from driving across the country and I can't wait to tell you about my retreat with Little Pink Houses of Hope. First things first, if you're still not sure what Little Pink Houses of Hope is, let me take just a moment and describe the organization because they are fantastic. Little Pink Houses of Hope is an organization that gives breast cancer patients or fighters or survivors a week away, basically, a retreat with amazing activities planned, other people to meet, and they have been so smart about this. Think of this as almost like you're getting a, a VRBO or an Airbnb for a week from really nice families that are providing their place. And then they've already taken like a lot of the, the care and concern and worry out of a trip by giving you a stipend or partnering with other people in the location you go to so you have a really good time with some really cool activities and some really amazing food. Um, so I've mentioned it before, but my family went to Blue Ridge. Now this is one important thing to remember if you're going to apply for a retreat through Little Pink, and that is you have to be able to get yourself wherever you're going. So we drove down to Blue Ridge, Georgia, which was beautiful. The scenery down there is amazing of like, lush green mountains and rivers and lakes and it was really really cool to get to see but what's so cool beyond the amazing scenery where we were is all the stuff that little pink had planned just for us to make our week that much more special with our family so let me back up for a minute and talk about the application process if you're interested and i would highly suggest checking out little pink if your family is dealing with breast cancer is you go to their website and they list all their different retreats and they tell you the dates that they're gonna happen and you can apply for as many as you want but again remember you have to be able to get yourself there and you might not always get like a ton of heads up notice on it there was only one that actually worked for our family so I can't say I had a whole lot of hope and that we would be able to um, like be picked for this one retreat but I was working at church one day and I got a phone call and I was told that we had been chosen, which was amazing. So if you apply, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get to go, but that's, that's like no reason not to apply because again, they're just, they're such good weeks. So we drove down to Blue Ridge and the first thing that we did is we met uh, one of the workers from Little Pink there. We met Kathy and she gave us uh, I like, like three bags of goodies stuff from different locations where people were partnering with them uh, stuff from a church uh, stuff from little pink itself all the information we would need all the contact information we would need and the location of where we would actually be staying that itself is like if like if that sets you up for what the week is going to be that's just perfect because i was overwhelmed already by the generosity and just all the amazing thoughtful things that we were given five minutes into this this retreat uh, we got to our cabin which was amazing overlooking the mountains and then we had all these great activities set up the, the very first day we actually ended up going to church because there's a church there in blue ridge that was uh, kind of partnering with little pink and it was so nice to go to that church and be welcomed and be part of the capital c church uh, my family goes to church every sunday i work at church we are believers and to go find other people that were so supportive of us and they didn't even know us that was already just you know warming to my heart so we had a great time at church that sunday and then if you're like well you know food's always a thing on vacations well from little pink we also got a a stipend card but also a couple of the restaurants in the Blue Ridge area had partnered with Little Pink to give us a handful of free meals which was awesome and delicious but then other events like I said were set up we got to go um, one of the first days we went on a train ride this open-air train ride that traveled from Blue Ridge uh, actually over to Tennessee and then back to Blue Ridge which was beautiful and gorgeous and hot um, but that was set up and that was so cool and that was uh, really my first opportunity to get to know some of the other ladies on this trip so when you apply for a retreat um, you're not the only ones obviously applying for those times and if it works like it does uh, like it did in Blue Ridge then then it'd be similar on your retreats but there are other families there were three families in total and so I got to meet these other women um, that got it right they kind of understand the breast cancer world because they are breast cancer 
fighters themselves. And we were all at different places and stages with what, a, what our treatment was doing or what exactly we were fighting. Because I will continue to say that breast cancer is an umbrella term. Within breast cancer, there's so many different stages, there's so many different types, there's so many different treatments. But there's definitely a sisterhood. Or if you're a guy, you're more than welcome to join the sisterhood as well. But there's a sisterhood of understanding, of getting it, of having those emotions, of, of having those hard conversations with doctors, of learning new meds. And, and all of that was really cool to get to talk with two other women that I would have for no other reason gotten to meet than, than this little pink retreat, right? And so we got to discuss our treatments. We got to discuss what was great, what was awful, what we were concerned about. And that was so meaningful to get to form those connections. I don't think they're, I, I can't come up with any other reason why I would have gotten to meet these two women, but we got to have these times together that were set up for us to meet each other, but to have a great time with our family and to enjoy the scenery. We also got to eat together where, I think sharing a meal can be um, kind of an intimate thing. Like here we have this, like you can kind of let your walls down a little bit. You're, you're meeting a basic need here while you're conversing about life. And so we got to know each other. And that was really meaningful and something I will always keep from that retreat. But so beside the uh, amazing train ride, we also got to go um, out on a boat. There were uh, a couple families that partnered with a little pink that gave us a day out on the Blue Ridge Lake, which was gorgeous. And that was just a really fun experience for everyone in my family. The girls thoroughly enjoyed it. We also got to go tubing, um, which was again, great. Um, just stuff that we don't get to do around uh, where we live really. And it was gorgeous and beautiful and hot and fun and perfect. And maybe the, the oddest thing that we got to do is we visited the, the, the Bigfoot Museum, which, so to us, we kind of thought that's a little campy, right? Nope. Mm. Those people are really serious about who Bigfoot is and tracking them down. But the girls saw that was great. In fact, we even got a Bigfoot foot from going there. But all these things were so great, so awesome, so well planned, such a break for us to kind of step out of our normal lives and the grind that cancer can be and get to make these amazing memories and just meet these amazing people. And I keep using the word amazing because it's really the best descriptor of what this trip was. So if you or someone else is fighting breast cancer or you're a breast cancer survivor, look into Little Pink Houses of Hope. They have a beautifully planned retreat, you know, just to help people not do this alone. And, and to get a retreat from what cancer can be. And so as great as everything was and all these partners and, and everyone we met, um, I have to just give my biggest thank you to Little Pink because you guys made this possible and my family will be forever grateful for the memories um, that we got to create there. You guys are an awesome organization and thank you for sharing that with those of us that are fighting cancer.